you've been holding on to something for years, like your great brooch or your uncle's old coin collection or your husband, we're going to help you figure out if it's worth something. And no one can do it better than the stars of True TV's hardcore pawn. You know who they are. Les, Les Seth, Seth, and Ashley Gold. They run Detroit's yeah. biggest pawn shop. Hello, kiddos. Hi, welcome. Hi, welcome. How are you? Again. We're going to do a little love teaching today, yes, right? Yes, we are. Perfect. Now, a lot of people have stuff in their garages or attics, and they don't know what it's worth. If you guys were going to try to give them a nutshell, like, how do you know if your stuff is valuable? What's one of the first things you should look for look at it okay you know once you look at it you can kind of determine if it's How? got value or not really not even if you're just attached to it isn't that going to color well, it a little bit the, the attachment is one thing we always talk about remove the attachment if you can well that's the only way you're going to sell it yeah. all right and what should you turn to first so minus if you looked at it, you've seen it a thousand times it's you know the first thing a, you a turn to box. first is a magnifying glass okay Magnifying glass, we brought the, we said we bring it for you the last yeah, time. Yeah. So what you do is you utilize your eyes to tell you what the item is. The first thing is the brooch and the purse. Okay. So, so we brought you guys a brooch okay. and a purse. So if you came in your basement, you went to, you know, a garage sale and you saw this, you would just think it's a typical piece of jewelry and a purse. Right. That's you, the biggest brooch I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. Right. And you think, <laughs> well, wow, it's really cool. But you flip it over and you see a hallmark. And if you had a loop or a magnifying glass, you would see that there's a marking on it. So that's, you're looking for the manufacturer. Right. Exactly. Purse. Okay. So yeah. you, let's say you see thing. it. Then what do you do? You flip it over and it's Judith Lieber. And that oh, rings that's huge. Right. Big the deal. Brooch, the brooches or the purses? Both. Both. Yeah, I've got a, a couple of the, uh, the okay. purses. Yeah, so they're then beautiful. the second thing you want to do is you want to date the item. So it's probably been sitting in your garage or your basement for a while. You yeah. want to figure out where it comes from, how long, how old it is. So and that, that, and that, what about condition? Well, is condition is obviously important, but you want to is try that the and Marilyn date. Monroe magazine? Right. That so that is from 1955. 1955. In her? Playbill magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Prior to play the Playboy. Photo play, yeah. It's photo play. Yeah. So you would think because it's old and it's Marilyn Monroe, it could be worth a ton of money. This one's not. Wow. Well, because people collect magazines and they collect magazines of famous incidences. Right. So that doesn't have a scarcity effect to it. Oh, right? Okay. So people hold on to it. There's a lot of them. What and about not her first Playboy one? Would that have that, that has much more value. value? Well, she's naked. <laughs> that's the, yeah. that's the and what about the coin? What about the coin? Yeah. Well, the coin is also dated. So when you look in your chest, when you look in your jewelry box, you want to look at the date of the coins. A lot of people collected silver dollars. What people don't realize is that prior to 1964, all the coins were silver. Oh, after, after that, after they t started taking the How silver off. A lot of nickel, right? They put nickel, nickel is nickel. nickel. Yeah. How old That's why is they call it a nickel. No, but they put something <laughs> else in it. Right, exactly. They did. But it's worth about 10 times face value prior to 1964. How old does a coin have to be for it to be really valuable? Because yeah, you've seen things from the 30s. I've seen pennies and things like we that. We brought. Well, I brought yeah. a coin that's called the Big Busted Silver Dollar from 1799. Wow. The Whoa. coin that's laying there, How it's, much is that it's worth? worth anywhere from 1000 to $300,000. So right. ours, is worth, a, ours is worth $1,000. All right. So the next thing you Are can do, you, you can just look right on the Internet. It's, it's, a, it's an easy way to find out well, what's what. Well, it's an easy way to guide you yeah. in the right direction. So I brought two bobbleheads, of course, the New York Yankees and Detroit Tigers. We're uh, from Detroit. Yeah. So that's a precursor to the modern-day bobblehead. Mm -hmm. um, it's the first time MLB commissioned them. And if you look at those, they're made out of paper mache and ceramic. So typical right now, things are made out of plastic. Yeah. Right? So they're very fragile. They're hard to come by just because of the conditions. So do some research on the Internet. It's a good path to guide you someplace. Okay. Are those worth? So $300 a piece. $300 a piece. Right. So real quick at the end, there's a bird cage. We were just yeah. in Italy doing an event. That's we were, a bird We cage? were at a flea so market. It's a bird cage <gasps> clock. Sweet. I've never seen one before. I, I had either. to have it, so so we bought it. Okay. It's beautiful. It's, the workmanship. I, I've gorgeous. never seen anything like well, it. What would you, you say? It's you worth? take that to a dealer. It's worth to check two hundred and fifty dollars. Now, now we brought the the gems. So what you have to realize, a lot of a lot of expensive gems in a jewelry box. Grandma had a mommy yeah, had a yeah. great grandma. Well, that's a prime example. So the ones in the big dish are just run of the mill coins. Are, are yeah. gems. Are gems. Yeah. The one in the front is actually a three and a half carat. Emerald, emerald cut emerald. Wow. Um, and if you utilize your loop and you look at the at the the gem, you'll realize that there's imperfections. When you really question that, take it to your local jeweler, take it to your local pawn shop. You know, go to somebody that you trust right. to give you the real. By the value. way, can you trust a pawn shop or someone to tell you Other what it's yours. really worth? Well, there's an association that uh, most pawn brokers, legitimate pawn brokers, yeah. belong to. It's called National Pawn Broker Association. So go out there, make sure they're represented, and 
You know, do your homework. Check your doctor. Yeah. Make sure he's got a license. Everything in your basement, just because you're going through it, you could have a treasure. You should have something in there. You guys are so it's great. It's a lot of fun. We oh, love thank you. you. Very, very Come much. Come to the pawn shop. And again, if anything's missing, it's Jerry. Okay. All right. All right. Now that we've got, we've made a little extra money, we're going to put that money toward a summer.